हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स बिगिन विथ कंसेप्ट ऑफ पैरामीटर ऑप्टिमाइजेशन If you observe that for optimization analysis, there are three basically three different types of analysis we are taking. Plus, that is topology optimization, size and shape optimization, and topo topography optimization. That is a, a different types of optimization or a free size optimization. Okay, so those are considered in a, a types of analysis in a optimization technique. Actually, optimization is nothing but uh, For example, we are taking from the bracket optimization that is shown in this figure. So, if you observe that this is the definition of the bracket or packaging space which is shown in the figure, and now we applied the forces and mesh generation. We are convert into the mesh part. We apply the forces on this bracket where uh, and some of the fixed condition, idling and bold condition. Okay. Then what will the that the setup of optimization problem and definition of design constraints? So we have to apply the design constraint. That means where the stiffness or mass is uh, manufacturing constraints and design constraints. We have to apply where where the stiffness or where where the stress is maximum. So in optimization analysis, first we are calculate the that particular mesh analysis as per the regular structural analysis. Okay. So after calculating the structural analysis, we get the zones where the red zone is there. That means that part is very essential where the most stiffness is required. And after that, we move to the optimization in the most of the cases. Okay, but here also we can get the same result where the stiffness is maximum uh, is required. That that part is uh, keep as it is while the uh, during the competition the some of the part is removing. And it's converted in the form of ribs or some of the space where the extra material is required. So that part is uh, shown in this interpolation result. And from a CAD design, we can make that part once again with the rib sections and all other sections. And uh, we have to check that bracket once again in our analysis. And uh, if it is show the same stress levels and same levels. Of uh, analysis with uh, topology or with uh, mass reduction, then it will be the very good to use in the uh, actual market. Okay, instead of going to the bracket, okay, original bracket. So that is a different thing. Is it is uh, dependent on various factors also. So uh, those are not considered here. If it is a mass production, that time it will be very useful. Uh, to use topology optimization okay then that is a shape optimization in first case uh, here we define the existing design through user defined shape variables that is a uh, morphing technology so uh, in size of a shape optimization we have to reduce the shapes which are related to the uh, thickness and which are sometimes which are related to the uh, length Or sometimes it is related to thickness, diameter, and another shape which is required. So that is a morphing technology. Those are design variables, and sometimes it is a manufacturing variables. So innovative design proposals with the optimum bid optim uh, pattern and location for reinforcement. So this red color is shown as a bid pattern on the particular location. So bid pattern is very important for uh, different aspects. For uh, manufacturing also and for stiffness purpose, uh, due to frequency, it will not uh, going to uh, crack or not going to uh, remove from the attachment. So that is a very important bead pattern. So that is shown in the red color. While the size and weight reduction is show like this topology optimization, where the size and mass reduction taken place as per the non-designed space area. Okay. From the non-design space area, then sizing that is free sizing that finding the optimal thickness and element thickness per material layer. Okay, so these are the basic things in optimization. Process overview of you observe the topology optimization is based on design space optimization. That means as per the design where the extra mass is there, that will be reduced. Okay, well.
topology optimization and analysis and optimization setup if you observe that we have to first um, mesh that part okay and uh, we have to concentrate on the particular design space so i am concentrating particular design space over here so that particular space will be removed in a topology optimization while other space is already having very small cross section though uh, so there is a very less chances of removing the material okay so after results interpolation how it looks and size and shape optimization that means when we apply here we apply only uh, topology that means uh, mass extra uh, non design space mass will be removed directly and here we are uh, consider the size and shape optimization designed for fine tuning where the different another areas where the thickness uh, we can maintain in uh, during the casting or uh, during any other manufacturing constraint those are also mentioned here and we get the size optimized part so optimization of torsion link will be getting like this this is taken from alter engineering and that is all rights are provided to alter okay so uh, these are also alter uh, engineering aoc that is uh, alter optimization contest is there so those students are uh, willing to learn optimization concept or participate in concept you have to uh, participate it and you have to solve different types of optimization problems there so concept level of optimization types are topology topography or free size or sizing so topology is nothing but given design envelope topology optimization finds the minimum uh, material uh, placement optimum material placement within that space according to constraint and objective okay topography is given a cell structure it's a cell structure okay that is a surface structure where topo topography optimization creates a bead pattern that likes a rib pattern as shown in this figure from the elements which meets the constraint and objective well free size is given a, a shell structure and free size optimization finds the optimum thickness on a element by element basis that meets the constraint and objective that is thickness optimization okay it is going to observe on the thickness only then optimization problem definition there are design variable responses and objective and constraints so design variable uh, is as per the topology or topography or sizing okay or shape so responses will be displacement stress mass so these are the stresses uh, other the stresses uh, excitation uh, forces those are considered as the responses while objective is whether we have to minimize or we have to maximize and constraints uh, is based on upper and lower boundary okay so these are the various important optimization pattern and same pattern will be used in every type of uh, statistical uh, optimization analysis also okay so introduction to topology optimization if you understand that topology optimization technique is a new design and optimum material distribution where it allows the designer to start with the design that uh, already has the advantage of optimal material distribution and is ready for the design for fine tuning with the shape and size optimization the topology optimization is performed on a model to create a new topology for a structure and removing any unnecessary material and resulting structure is lighter and satisfy all design constraints those are some of the applications are shown in this figure then for example a baseline design or for a bridge the uh, loading condition is like this there is a uh, simply supported row uh, beam is considered and according to beam the load is we are either variable load or uh, we are applied uniform distributed load on that particular beam this part is non design area this is a force or mass conditions are applied in a load and this is our design space that is structure is fixed there so optimization is objective and restrictions as per uh, we have to reduce the density or uh, we uh, of the material so that we get a particular uh, density distribution and accordingly we can easy to manufacture this design okay so this is done in alter optistruct optimization driven uh, design proposal 
so i i suggest everyone that you can go to alter uh, aoc webinar series and where you will get a uh, different types of analysis on how we are doing this analysis easily and uh, we have to understand all the types in uh, optistack so optistack is very best useful for design optimization then scv frame development uh, a small old frame uh, of scv is uh, now changed to the new frame where we getting a mass reduction 20% torsion stiffness will be increased 31% weld length reduction will be 50% so, so these are the objectives we are satisfied in the lightweight scv frame development the topology optimization engine gearbox mount casing so for mount casing also uh, first is cad design then ce that is machining of design space and application of forces and constraints then weight loads and material design space for manufacturing that is manufacturing constraints also available there then optimization tool removes the unnecessary material where the manufacturing cost and assembly cost is considered design with respect to optimization result so again we have to uh, make a cad model and again we have to do the ce analysis that is analysis of optimization in detail so where uh, we uh, already removed the part and where again which stresses are uh, coming there and whether we can change the material or any other part so those also consider as per the optimization of mounting so uh, power train mounting a system of audi a4 with a four cylinder tdsi engine that is shown in this figure here as a mount casing uh, is changed as per the uh, result of optimization that is development process of optimization so design space result of topology optimization again design space again we are doing to take a step analysis where the weight reduction is uh, uh, almost 3 kg and the stiffness will be increased a 13% as shown in the figure and cost will be reduced significantly so what is happen weight is reduced 100% to 43% cost of the part is also reduced 100% to 45% while stiffness is increases so that we are moving to the topology optimization then topography optimization topography optimization concept level design so it is a concept level design that searches that optimal distribution of bits or swages in a shell structure so here bits are shown in the figure the minimum bits uh, and draw angle and maximum bits is uh, height okay so that is a, a design variable generation where there uh, we get a uh, sum of the bit structure and according to the bit final control we have to formulate that uh, bit structure so uh, that is also shown in this final design so uh, for example uh, find the rate profile to provide minimum uh, maximum displacement for a walled uh, tank that is uh, filled with a fluid to be optimized with for a stiffness and the symmetry that is three uh, orthogonal planes of the symmetry are defined here so symmetry is defined here then uh, we have to apply the loading condition pressure is from the inside and that is uh, we have to use for the topography so while topography we get uh, different areas so these are the areas where we can optimize or minimum minimize the maximum displacement so we have to provide the rip profile or some of the extrusion like bead sections in this final result these are already taken from altair engineering only okay and then topography optimization of uh, vw golf v muffler where the minimize the sound uh, emissions from the muffler company so here if you observe that original bead pattern and optimized bead pattern it will reduce the uh, decibels 10 decibels and that minimize the sound optimization okay sound emission uh, from the muffler component so sound is reduced uh, and uh, smoothness will be given to the particular car okay so that is a very important in topography well free size optimization can purpose the designs which are quite different from the topography topology of based optimization with similar or improved uh, performance concept level design shows uh, below the left and finished structures to the right and uh, concept designs are refined size optimization with the stress and buckling uh, constraint so the truss plate is added to the plain plate condition 
and uh, the truss is added and we are calculate the maximum dis uh, displacement with optimal mass condition so size optimization is a free size where we can reduce the particular component into uh, types of uh, structure or uh, thickness we can minimize and we can uh, optimize the free size optimization thank you so much